Hello everyone, I'm Wise. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get more FPS in Minecraft Java Edition because we all know the performance in Minecraft Java Edition is kind of doo doo, so I'm going to show you how to get more FPS. And yes, well, Optifine is better than Vanilla, it's not that great, it could be improved quite a lot. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. And also, you're not going to miss out on any of your Optifine capes and uh, zoom ins and whatever, it's going to be all in here. If you go to the link in the description, this GitHub page, it's a mod pack actually, it's called Fabulously Optimized. And uh, you can see all the mods here if you're interested in like downloading just one of them or just a few of them. You can see what they do, for example, ferret core reduces RAM usage, so does hydrogen. Also down here you can see a table with some Minecraft launchers, Curseforge, MultiMC and Van Vanilla, Prism and GD. Uh, I do not really recommend using MultiMC and Curseforge for this, Curseforge is not that greatly optimized. MultiMC is pretty old and doesn't have a lot of features anymore and it's whatever. I actually recommend either Prism Launcher and GD Launcher. So in today's video we're going to use Prism Launcher. I actually use GD Launcher, I tried to do this with GD Launcher since it has a like more modern UI and it just does not want to install it. It doesn't want to work. So in today's video we're going to use Prism Launcher. So we're going to go to Prism Launcher, install get the installer for Windows 10. Also, if you are on Windows 7 or something for whatever reason, or Linux, Steam Deck and Mac OS, you can choose those here. Click on this. Click on the file. Do you not want to work? Oh. Now it's doing something. Why does it not want to work? Windows protected your PC. This is probably fine because well, a lot of people use this. So just click on continue anyway. Prism launcher, I make it just a shortcut, why not? Download it on my C drive, that's fine. Click on finish, close this. American English, why not? Maximum memory allocation, minimum. That's fine, that's fine. All right, now we're going to go to add an instance. A modern instance and well it's already here in this case just click on ok and just wait uh, if that's done you can launch it offline if you do not have a strong internet connection or want to play offline just click launch oh, oh of course i forgot it. Uh, you need to uh, go you need to go to your settings accounts and then add microsoft or mojang if you haven't migrated yet logging in with microsoft all right that's done close now we can launch now it's going to download some libraries and i'm pretty sure the other mods i don't know if they i don't think they installed it that fast all right when that's done you should hear your pc ramp up and the game should start as you can see here you cannot launch it anymore you can only kill the instance it's gonna take a bit for the first time because it's of course loading a lot of stuff and here you can see Minecraft, here are all the mods, it's actually just 39 mods apparently, these are all the stuff and if I'm going to load up a world here, I'm going to call it wise is cool and make it hardcore, why not? Maybe, maybe we're gonna make a hardcore Minecraft series, who knows, sometime. As you can see here, if you go to video settings, uh, your settings look a lot different, but it's kind of the same. Here you have your render distance, your brightness, here you have your max frame rate, animations, you can turn them on, off, advanced, particles, as you can see, details, render, and up here we have shader packs. Alright, my shader is not here, apparently. Drag and drop shaders, pretty simple. I'm going to make a copy on my desktop. Now just drag and drop, now you have shaders, there we go. As you can see, you can still zoom in, I still have my, do I have my cape disabled? I think I have my cape disabled. Oh, Alright, so I still have my Optifine cape, which is nice. And it just works, it's, it's nice, I actually like it. So, everyone, that is how you get more FPS in Minecraft. Wait, of course I want to see how many FPS I get without shaders. Alright, there we go. So the game still looks pretty much the same. And I have 600, 500 something FPS on the top right. Uh, and actually, it's pretty nice to have an option to show FPS. And now if I press F3, as you can see, I only have 300. The F3 menu takes so many FPS away. And now I can, I could also turn on my shaders, and you will be able to see how many FPS I actually have. 144. Is it capped to 144? No, it's not. All right. So 140 FPS with shaders, which is of course very nice. And like 500 without and the game still looks pretty much the same so everyone if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe if this helped you out hit that bell to not miss any amazing videos like this one in the future 
I'm Wise, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.